Welcome back to the Hilton Head News, where we're going to be joined by Mayor John McCann and Town Manager Mark Orlando. Mark Orlando, yeah, he got stuck. AWOL? No, he got stuck with some town business. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So, so it, it's the mayor flying solo. He's the starting pitcher, and he has to go eight innings this time. None of this pitch count stuff. We're, we're going to get you going. Your Yankees are doing very well, Yankees by the way. Yankees doing very well, thank you. All right, all right. We'll see how that all turns out. Good week. Big, we'll, big week. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is Hispanic Month. Besides Pennant Race Month, it's Hispanic Month on the island. Uh, a very important month, and I think becoming more important every year. Yeah, you know, about 20% of the island population, I, I understand, is, is Hispanic. And a third of the students in Hilton Head High School are Hispanic. Mm -hmm. uh, they're probably the hardest working people on the island. Uh, when they say they're going to do something, they do it. Um, you know, they work all kinds of hours and do all kinds of horrible jobs, but uh, they're very ambitious. The Hispanic women are the biggest business owners on the island. Mm -hmm. They're out there owning businesses. They've made a large contribution to not only the island, but to, to the county and to the country. So I wish them congratulations on, on National Hispanic Month. They also have a great party going on this weekend at Shelter Cove that we're all invited to. And anytime we mix the cultures here on the island, it, it's generally a pretty good thing. That's right. You also, uh, uh, one of the little thing we wanted you wanted to talk about was uh, uh, your pastoral council. Now tell me, tell me where that's coming from and what. Sure, I'm surprised we haven't spoken about it already. Yeah. But I'm just disappointed in myself. When I first became mayor, I decided that instead of one of the councilmen giving the invocation, I would enlist one of the local pastors mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. And we've done it since the first day I arrived. We'd rotate pastors for, for a whole year. It's worked out really, really great. Uh, from that, we started having a meeting with the, the pastors and rabbis and priests on the island um, every month, every quarter, every four or five months along the way. And that went well. And then they asked us, would we formalize a group for them? Okay. Uh, and we did, and we met last week. Um, what do they bring to the table? What 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 are they? Well, what they bring to the table is a little, little bit of civility we don't have before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what they bring to the table is the ability to address a congregation that we couldn't get to. Mm -hmm. uh, what they bring to the table is ideas about the culture and everything here that we don't have. We have a homeless problem. We have a drug problem. And they're more in tune with the homeless problem than most people think they are. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've done great services for the homeless people, giving them shelter, giving them food, giving them money. Uh, so they're really in the front line of that. I also believe in an organization like that, whether it's the, the, the temple or the church or whatever it is, best represents the community rather than anybody else. There was 24 of them there last Monday for lunch out at uh, mm. Celebration Park. Mm -hmm. Um, we decided that the rest of the future agendas would be prepared by them. We would just have an assistant town manager and an administrative assistant work with them and, and we would finance most of the efforts to do it. Mm -hmm. um, Rabbi Bloom was our speaker last week. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting, he was going to speak about an article he had in the paper and then he got off it, which was which, onto a much better talk than that. Uh, he talked about over the last couple of months and over the year, all the religious people on the island have been spending time in hospitals and at funerals and mm -hmm. consoling people all along the way. And uh, he said, you know, the one thing we have to remember, and he's talking to the to other clergy members, is we have to take care of ourselves. If you're spending all your time taking care of your provisioners along the way, and you're not taking care of Bob and John, then you're losing it because you're not going to be there when they need you the most. Mm -hmm. You have to take that little bit of time off to squeeze in nine holes of golf or to run or to ride a bike or to go to a movie. You have to take care of yourselves. And Rabbi Bloom went on for about 20 minutes with that, of the importance both mentally and physically of doing that. That's pretty good advice for all of us. Yes, it is. To yes, take care is. of ourselves yes. uh, as well as all of the people that, that our care is entrusted to. Um, we got to talk about the 278 corridor and we got to talk about a, a, a vote coming up in November. Yes, we have an election in November that you need to go vote for uh, or we'll vote on. And uh, we'll be back with that right after this.